It is January 18, 2023, and on the 17th, I had another strong delusion dream. So I'm going to give you that, and then we're going to read some scripture. And I hope it helps you understand what the Living God is saying. So I dreamt of a cloudy day, darkness, but I myself alone could see a break in the clouds and the most excellent, glorious light radiating behind the coverage. It was shown to me that the darkness is the deception of the people, and there was actual light behind all that was seen, for he is that glorious light that men reject, as is written in John three eighteen through 20. And I'm going to give you one verse. For everyone that does evil hates the light, John three twenty. So, we're going to read Isaiah 59, as far as God wants me to go. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. For your inequities, inequities has separated it between you and your God. Your sins has hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, your fingers with inequity. Your lips have shown lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. None calls for justice, nor plead for truth. They trust in vanities, speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. I'm going to continue. They hatch cockerous eggs and weave spider webs. He that eateth of their eggs dies, and that which is crushed breaks out in a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and acts of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction is in their path, the way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goes therein shall not know peace. Therefore, judgment is far from us. Neither does just, justice overtake us. Wait for light. Behold, obscurity for brightness. But we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like blind. We grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at new day in the night. We... I'm going to read that one more time. We grope for the wall like the blind. We grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places of dead men. We roar like bears and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment. But there is none for salvation, but it's far from us. For our transgressions have multiplied before thee. And our sins testify against us, and our, our transgressions are with us. And as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgressing and lying against the Lord, and departing from the way of the in transgressing and lying against the Lord, and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart of words of falsehood, and judgment is turned away backwards, and justice stands afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, iniquity can, cannot enter, yea, truth fails. And he that departs from evil makes himself a prey. The Lord saw it, and it displeased him. There was no judgment. You know, I could continue, but I'm going to stop. We read 1 through 15. Thank you, Father, for this word. I hope whoever hears this video, consider what the living God is speaking. And I've said this before in many videos. You can't not be a sinner and enter the kingdom of God. You're going to have to walk your own valley decision. The living God calls you to a higher, higher calling in Christ Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Sick of mouth. Shalom.